In today's video, we're going to walk you through how to fix an MSI laptop that's stuck in a BIOS loop. If your system keeps booting straight into BIOS and won't load Windows, don't worry. We'll go over what's causing it and how to fix it step by step. So first, let's talk about what's actually going on. Most of the time, this kind of issue happens because your laptop can't detect a bootable drive, usually your SSD. That could be because you just installed a new SSD that isn't set up right, the drive's failing, Windows got corrupted, or your BIOS settings are off. Alright, let's get into some fixes. If you recently installed or swapped out your SSD, start there. Turn the laptop off. Open the back, only if you're comfortable doing that, and check that the SSD is firmly connected. If there are two SSD slots, try moving it to the other one and see if anything changes when you reboot. If the SSD seems fine physically, you might not need to replace it, but definitely don't rule it out until you check a few other things. Now if the drive is installed correctly, and your BIOS still shows up every time you boot, it could just be the boot settings that are off. So go ahead and restart, and when the MSI logo comes up, press the delete key or F2 to enter the BIOS. Once you're in, go to the settings tab and then system status. Look for your SSD in the list. If it's not showing up at all, the BIOS can't detect it which is a sign of a connection issue or drive failure. But if your SSD is listed, here's what to do next. Go to the boot section. Set the boot mode to UEFI. That's what Windows 10 and 11 need. If you're not sure what version you're using, or if you're running something older like Windows 8, set it to Legacy plus UEFI. Only pick Legacy if you've got a really old setup, like Windows 7. Then, under Boot Priority, make sure your SSD is at the top of the list. That tells the laptop to load from it first. Still stuck? Try resetting the BIOS to defaults. Look for an option called Restore Defaults or Load Optimize Defaults, then Save and Exit. Usually that's the F10 key. After that, reboot and see what happens. Now if none of these steps work, and your BIOS can't detect the SSD at all, there's a good chance the drive is corrupted or has failed. At that point, you'll need to either replace the SSD or reinstall Windows from a bootable USB drive. Before you go out and buy a new drive though, it's worth having the laptop checked by a pro, just to make sure the SSD is actually the problem. 